Today we're gonna to look at top three Chrome extensions that are basically free and you need to know if you're in marketing, you're running a business or an entrepreneur. I'm not gonna waste your time, let's just dive in. So if you've been following me on TikTok and Instagram, this one's gonna sound familiar, but we're gonna dive a bit deeper today. It's called tango.us. If you're an entrepreneur or you work in HR, you work in operations, you work in marketing, and you have like a team, you have interns, you kind of have to train people on using softwares like CRM, Salesforce, Slack, or like, you know, automations tools like Zapier and whatnot, this tool is gonna be your lifesaver. In a nutshell, this tool automatically creates a software training guide with all the screenshots, all the instructions automatically. So you don't have to do like screenshot, then click here, then click here, another screenshot, do that kind of stuff manually ever again. So let me show you how it works. Just sign up for Tango, then it's gonna prompt you to install the Chrome extension and it's gonna be free, so just do that. Now, once you have it installed, let's say I wanna teach somebody how to build a simple Zapier automation. I'm gonna click on Tango, click on Capture Steps, and now I'm just gonna record or like basically walk through what I'm gonna teach somebody like once. So I'm clicking here on like create a new Zap, uh, go for a trigger, select the application, search for this, uh, click here, trigger event. It's sort of recording all the steps like with the screenshots and now once I'm done, I'm just gonna hit this green check and this tool is gonna turn all the steps that I just captured into a guide with the screenshots and instructions automatically. It's cool, but it gets better. So let's say I have a new team member joining. I wanna like teach them how to do this. I gotta share this Tango as a guide. As soon as they click on it, it will automatically take them to the app and like walk them step by step on what to do and where to click. So here, like it's gonna like blur out the rest of the screen and just tells them like, hey, click on this action box. And as soon as they click, it's gonna take them to the next step. It's gonna be like, hey, now click here. So it has this orange hue highlighting what they need to do. So instead of like jumping on this calls or building those guides, this takes care of it automatically. Now just quickly look at the pricing. So the free plan can uh, has the ability to give you like 15 workflows that you can share. You can do the capture and the browsing and you can have like about 10 people on your team in the workspace. But of course you wanna have your custom branding. You wanna like do not just the browser but the desktop stuff as well. You're gonna have to update, uh, upgrade to the paid plan, which I think is fair. I think like the free plan here is super generous. All right, moving on to the next tool. So this one is called graphy.app. So again, you know, you can go to the Chrome store, you can get the Chrome extension but you still have to go to the website to log in. And once you're signed in, let's say you are in marketing or you are a, you're an entrepreneur, you like you love data, you wanna look at the data to build your business decisions. Right now, what we do is like, we're gonna export all our data, put it into Excel, then have somebody like build out those charts and yada, yada, yada. Then somebody's gonna spend another two hours building out the report that they're gonna present in a meeting two weeks from now. That's a lot of work. But so let's say I've got Google Analytics data here. I'm just gonna click on here, save with Graphy. I'm just gonna double check if the data looks correct and boom, already have my chart done. I mean, it doesn't just work for Google Analytics. Of course, Google Analytics already have the graph, but it works for all your data sources. So like Stripe, Google Analytics, and you know, your leads, whatever. Just take all the data from all your sources and bring it to your to a board. So now you have like a dashboard of all your data in a single interface done in seconds. What I really like about this tool is like the ability to annotate or like make the charts a bit more interactive. So let's say like, you know, I have this chart over here. I can like sort of like add annotation. I can do stickers. I can highlight a point. I can like pin a number. And of course you can add a text block that you can use AI feature to sort of like generate some insights from the data as well. But of course I would recommend double checking because it's AI might not get the best results. I mean, it's pretty good. And then you don't always have to like keep bringing the data over and over again. You have an option here to like just sync. So every time like your next meeting rolls up, all you gotta do is like hit sync. It's gonna pull the data from all those sources automatically. And boom, you have like the most recent report up to date. All right, moving on to the next Chrome extension. So this one, I think is super underrated. It's basically Zapier's Chrome extension version. So those who are not familiar, like I would recommend go watch my AI and automation playlist so you're kind of familiar with the Zapier and what it can do. But basically Zapier is an AI automation platform without coding. So you can like connect a whole bunch of different apps. You can like build automation flows without any coding experience whatsoever. The way usually automations work is that you have a trigger. For example, if you get an email with this keyword, then it triggers an automation to maybe update your CRM or something like that. But a lot of automations can actually be triggered through Zapier's Chrome extension. For example, this one I have here for like lead outreach. For example, as soon as I find a tool that's super interesting, uh, what I would do is like I just type the name, I'll type the customer name, I'll type the product name, I hit enter. It's gonna trigger my automation flow. That's gonna like now scrape the website, it's gonna find all those details and it's gonna craft the personalized message and send it to my drafts. Here's another one. So you know I love tools. So every time I do come across a very interesting tool, I'm just gonna click a button. It's gonna already capture like the website URL, some stuff from uh, the website itself and the name I'm 
I'm going to put in and like some any like notes I want to add. Now it's going to automatically update my database in Airtable where I like basically collect all these useful tools that I can talk about on my channel. And, and of course, like if you scroll down, you see some like, you know, pre-built or sort of like inspiration examples from what uh, sort of automations you can use with the Zapier Chrome extension trigger. But yeah, I think it's uh, one of the most underrated Chrome extensions uh, that you should be leveraging to build some of the workflows to do your work faster. These were the three Chrome extensions I wanted to go over today. Let me know which one you think is the most useful, which one I should stop using. And uh, if this video was insightful, you learned something new, you feel inspired, give a thumbs up. For more tools and AI automation stuff, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the future videos.